As defense team members gradually resume business activities, many are wondering about the occupational health and safety measures being taken across D&D and CAF facilities to address COVID-19. Today, we're joined by the Deputy Vice Chief of Defense Staff, Major General Francis Allen, to address some of these questions submitted online by defense team members. So thank you so much for joining us today, ma'am. Thank you, I'm glad to be here. If a defense team member does develop COVID-19 symptoms, uh, what should they do and who should they tell? So if they're at the workplace, they should immediately tell their supervisor or their boss uh, that they're not feeling well and uh, make themselves, uh, get themselves home safely. Um, and at that point in time, if you're a civilian, you should contact your civilian um, health uh, representative. And if you're a military member, contact your uh, CAF healthcare facility. So if a defense team member does test positive for COVID-19, what does this mean for the other staff working at that facility? So there's a, um, an analysis that takes place to see where was the worker, who were they working with, and um, we need to make that, have the medical staff make an assessment of whether or not people need to self-isolate and be tested themselves, or whether or not uh, they uh, uh, can likely simply go back to the workplace once there's been a cleaning of the workplace site where um, the defense team member was. Thank you so much for joining us today. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, thanks for having me and, uh, and a big uh, thank you out to all of the, you know, uh, occupational health and safety and workplace safety committees that are out there who have really been part of making sure that we all come back uh, to work as necessary in a safe way. Thanks a lot, Shelley. I really appreciate it. Thank you.